The Burnt Orange Heresy. That's a terrible poster, by the way. Fortunately, the film is much, much better. Out in cinemas now, new thriller based on a novel uh, by Charles Williford, starring Clay Bang, uh, Elizabeth Dembitsky, Donald Sutherland, and uh, Mick Jagger, of all people. The story starts with James Figueras, an art critic, giving a lecture in Milan that describes the nature of his work, um, perfectly showcases how an opinion of a critic can influence the public's opinion on art, uh, even when it's completely baseless, and uh, also establishes the protagonist as a habitual liar. One of the, mem the members of the audience is a young American woman, Berenice, who strikes a conversation with James and ends up sleeping with him, and he then later invites her for a few days um, in the Italian countryside. Apparently he got an invitation from a famed art collector, played by Mick Jagger, to spend some time in his lakeside villa and do something for him. Turns out that that something has to do with a famous yet reclusive and mysterious painter also living on the edge of the property. Jagger gets Figueras the opportunity to interview the artist, something that hasn't been done in decades, in exchange for convincing him to give up one of his paintings for the collector. This starts the story, which is essentially a tangled web of lies and deception of characters fabricating who they are um, and hiding the truth about themselves, about masks we put on, about what we choose to reveal to others and what we choose not to, and also about the very nature of truth in relation to art itself. It probably sounds very tedious and boring when described this way, I'm sure, but the reality is far from that. Um, the intrigue is actually engaging and interesting, and despite not being packed with quick action, the film is far from boring. Um, now, I thought about it a bit, and there are movies that are driven by action, there are movies that are driven by plot, sometimes by characters. This one, I'd say, is primarily a conversation-driven movie, which is an extension of the characters, of course, but I, I really want to make that distinction. The vast majority of the plot happens as a result or, or in the process of people discussing things with, with one another. And the dialogue feels very literary, so to speak. You could, you could guess that it was based on a book, even if you didn't know that. The dialogue has this natural flow to it. It, it, it does come alive because of the great cast, but I felt the words themselves are just beautifully woven to, to make you care about what is spoken to make you listen with interest and to captivate you with, with the implications. I mentioned the cast being quite good. Uh, the biggest surprise for me was probably Mick Jagger. Uh, I didn't know what to expect of him, and I feared he may come off sort of cartoonish, but he's actually fairly convincing as this slightly mysterious, slightly jovial, but also not, not a little sinister art collector. He brings a great gravity to the role and by extension to the whole plot. Um, which is quite dark in terms of the story and yet for a good portion of the film manages to sort of hide it by maintaining the atmosphere of a relaxed Italian lakeside sunset with very beautiful scenery and great natural light. The intrigue is well written and it has a great conclusion. There are minor things that I didn't you know, get fully on board with like a repeated motive of flies, the sort of harbingers of doom, markers of someone being cursed but I think those were little things at the end of the day, and on the whole, I really enjoyed The Burnt Orange Heresy. Um, it's a very competent thriller with some interesting thoughts on the nature of truth, lies, and the consequences of those lies.